Okay, this screencast will demonstrate how to install uh, WebLogic for use with Agile PLM on our application server. So thus far we've gone ahead and installed our JDK and now we're going to simply double click on our WebLogic jar. It's a um, executable jar file and it contains the installer. We're going to change our path to our secondary drive for applications. And click next. So we're going to go ahead and click next. And yes for confirmation. Okay, we'll go ahead and do a typical install. Okay, now we need to browse to the JDK that we had already installed on the system prior. Click Next. And we'll go ahead and run with the uh, default product installation path because this is based on the uh, path that we had entered prior. Click Next here. And everything looks good, so we'll go ahead and click Next to begin the installation. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and deselect, uh, run Quick Start, and click Done. And that's all there is to installing WebLogic. This screencast will show how to install Agile 931 on WebLogic. So, thus far, we've installed the JDK. We've installed WebLogic. We've also patched WebLogic. There is a patch out there uh, for performance. So now what we need to do is combine the installers. We'll go into disk two here. And now we'll go into our agile disk one. Okay, so with our uh, our disk two copied in here, we're going to go ahead and launch setup win. Okay, we'll go ahead and accept the terms. We'll go ahead and enter in a username and company. Click next. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, choose the application server, file manager, and APIs for this particular install. Uh, we're, we will not be using web proxy on uh, 2008, nor will we be using ChangeCast, or Recipe, and Material Workspace. And I'll, I always do advanced mode, even if I'm doing a standalone server. Next. Here, uh, we do definitely want to change the, the drive to a new non-boot uh, partition. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we are installing on WebLogic. So select WebLogic, click Next. Okay, so this is the path that we installed uh, WebLogic to. So it, it is correct, we'll click Next. And now we'll choose the uh, JDK location and click Next. We're doing a standalone installation. And I will change the uh, default port number to 80. And click Next. Yes, I want to run it as a service. Click Next. And the Agile installer will go ahead and automatically pick up the host name. Click Next. So one thing to note here is the host name, it's suggested that you have a fully qualified domain name here, not just the host name. We'll go through and um, 
choose the defaults here. Later on, I'm going to come back in and, and I'll tune uh, WebLogic uh, and the install service uh, file. So I'll uninstall the service, make any tweaks that I want to, and I'll, I'll reinstall the service. So we'll go ahead and go through the, uh, the settings here. So when we, we're going to set up AutoView later, so we're going to ha have that communicate again on its default port. Um, sticking with default port numbers for things makes it a lot easier to support. So we'll go ahead and click Next. Okay, so now we're going to enter in our host name and the password. And click Next. And now we will choose an administrator password and click Next. And we'll click Yes here. We're also going to stick with the Agile Vault as the vault location. This will most likely change. It's just uh, for the install purpose. We're going to install into an Agile program group. So we'll go to Start, and then there should be uh, All Programs and Agile will show underneath of it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and click Install. All these defaults look great. And then we'll come back uh, when it's finished. Okay, I'm going to opt not to restart the system and I'll click Done. I have uh, more installers to go through, such as AutoView. Then I want to make some uh, configuration changes uh, for Java, Java optimization. Uh, that's, that's pretty much how to uh, install the Agile PLM system itself.